We're talking Pac-12 women's hoops, and we're talking to Arizona State guard Jade Lavelle. Coming off a big weekend, you guys swept the Oregon schools, put up a cool 33 points against the Beavers, and then followed up with 16 against the Ducks. Thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate you taking the time. How are you feeling after a weekend like that? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm excited. I mean, um, two dubs. We needed this momentum. Uh, we're coming off a losing streak. Nobody likes to, to lose, but uh, we're back. You know, we're back to doing the things that we need to do. Obviously, we have things that we need to continue to work on, but um, we're having, you know, the the one heartbeat mentality and just coming together, playing together and having fun. So uh, we're hoping to continue to do that. Yeah, nice to turn into a streak, hopefully. Your team has talent all over the floor, it's very clear, but you started Pac-12 play really late due to the COVID pause. Do you feel yeah. like your team found their identity this weekend? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's all, it's been about just playing as one heartbeat, you know, really having each other's backs. It's not about um, who's gonna score the points, who's gonna, um, you know, get a, a big play at the end. We've, we've realized that each and every possession matters and just really valuing, valuing each and every possession and, and um, helping, helping each other on the court, communicating. Um, we're starting to kind of tap into our, our potential and I think we're can, just gonna continue to grow and, and continue to work on, you know, the things that we need to work on. But it's looking up from here and, and we're excited. And you guys have a few newcomers. You're one of the newcomers this year, a young team last year. So this team hasn't played a ton of basketball together. What do you think is the strength? Like if ASU is doing really well and you guys continue this run, what are you doing well? I mean, just one thing that we can control that Charlie always talks about is our defense. And, um, you know, we're trying to just get back into that aggressive, um, uh, get people out of their sets, just flying around, having each other's backs. Um, that's something that we can control. And, you know, in the Oregon game, we shot in the low 30s. And it didn't matter because we were, you know, getting stops. We were helping each other, um, especially when you have, you know, 6'8 in the paint and, and threats on, on the perimeter. It's just we had to, you know, have each other's back and really just be aware of, you know, where each other was on, you know, on the court. And so um, I think defense is something that we're definitely starting to really value and really um, take our, take pride in. Yeah, it's no easy feat going up against the Oregon schools. They're both very tall, and every team probably feels undersized, but you guys took mm -hmm. advantage. I want to talk to you about your game because you were a human highlight. I was looking at some of the, the ways you were scoring against Oregon State. Um, I'm curious what part of your game you think is your strength. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I, I utilize my mid-range jumper a lot. You know, I think that's kind of like a lost art in basketball these days. Um, but just, I just want to be unpredictable, you know, and, and I just trust my coaches coming here. It was just, you know, they were going to help me with my three and that's something that we really worked on, um, you know, in the off season as we continue, you know, we continue to work on it. But um, I just, you know, if I can get to the rim, I'm going to do that. If, you know, I'm just going to try to take what the defense gives me. And I think being unpredictable right now is, is um, something that is, is definitely helping my game, but just any ways that I can help my team out is, is what I'm looking for. For anybody watching, Jade, the turnaround jumper, your lefty, it's it's a thing of beauty. Um, definitely pay attention to that. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up, you guys don't just get one game against Arizona. Against your rival, you get two. Friday in Tempe and then Sunday in Tucson. What has your team told you about that rivalry? Yeah, it's big. Rivalry week. I mean, we're, we're excited. We're um, pumped. It's two great opportunities, uh, one at home and then one there. Um, yeah, I, they, they've told me a lot. You know, this is a game. Every game is, you know, there's high stakes and everything. But, you know, I think each of us are going to come in um, just excited, firing. It's going to be fun. And so I can't wait to, you know, get to work this week and, and do something great this weekend. Yeah, there was a big upset last year in Tempe. I remember in overtime where you guys took them down. So yeah. you transferred to ASU this offseason. You'll get another year after this one. Talk to me about Charlie Turner Thorne. What's it like having her as a coach? And how quickly did you guys bond, trust each other? Do you have any, any good Charlie stories as well would be said here? I mean, it really just took one phone call. Um, I was kind of nearing down to the, the end of my recruiting process in the portal and um, Charlie called me and it was just, I think we talked for about an hour and I just, her vision that she has for this program and the culture that she's, you know, instilled is just, it's, she's passionate. And that's something that I really wanted, you know, a coach that was going to develop me in, in ways, you know, on both on and off the court. And she's done just that. I mean, she's, she's very educated <laughs> on this whole basketball stuff, but I mean, other than that, she's just a great person. She's always, you know, looking out for us and I made the right decision coming here, but, um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. Awesome. And your dad, Derek, played in the NFL for the Seahawks, Broncos, 49ers. 
won three Super Bowls. That's really impressive. And what part of you do you think he's made the biggest impact? Just my work ethic. I mean, um, I just have, you know, a vision of there's always something that I can work on. There's always something that I can um, continue to, you know, pay attention to. And I think just he's allowed me to take a broader perspective of, wow, you know, yeah, okay, you had a great game, but what about this? Like, what, where, where can you, you know, improve? And I think that's always been my mindset. And he's always just, you know, instilled that that hard work and that that um, that mindset of, you know, there's there's always something that you can do to to be better. And so, you know, he's he's been my mentor since I was little, since I picked up a basketball. So, you know, the conversations are are great. I mean, every every game, before every game, after every game, um, yeah, he's he's definitely played a huge role in this whole process. And you got to move a little closer to him. I know you went to Skyline High School in Sammamish up near Seattle, but you're also from Arizona. What's it like having him nearby? Do you guys get to hang out and meet up after games? Yeah, I mean, he's right down the street. I'm actually about to go there today. Um, my baby sister's there. So it's just, it's a blessing to have my family in the stands every single game. Um, my support system is crazy. Um, it's a blessing just to have, you know, them right there in uh, fighting Jade Lavelle's like right behind the Arizona State. Right, yeah, every game I look up, same spots, same seats, sisters running around. But I mean, it's, it's just playing at home is, is something different. So it's awesome. And your scoring mentality, I think is unique, the aggression and like the, the ability to recognize when you can take advantage because a lot of people have the skill, but to have the skill and the aggression and execute it in a game where do you think that comes from? Does it, does it, is that something your dad helped you and helped instill in you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's something that he's always told me is just, you know, basketball is the same game that you started playing when you were, you know, five, six. So just going out every game is, you know, obviously there's things that I have to, you know, really lock into, but it's, it's basketball. It's a game, um, something that I love to do. I'm so passionate about. So I just go out and I, I like to have fun. Um, we always talk about having fun while we're on the court. That's when we play our best basketball and, um, that's what we've been doing. So it's it's gonna be fun this weekend for sure. Do you have any superstitions? Any pregame rituals that you gotta, you gotta get done? If meals, whatever? Uh, I have to pray, that's one. Um, besides that, no. I used to, you know, think about, you know, the way my socks were folded, <laughs> the way my shoes were tied. Sometimes, no, I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes my, when my shoe's a little bit too tight, I'm like, no, this isn't right. I have to loosen it. It has to be just perfect. But um, besides that, no, I mean, I think it, once you kind of tap out of the, the mind games, it's really just relaxed, calm mind and, and just go out there and have fun. Yeah, sometimes it can be too much and right. get you away from your game. <laughs> um, in terms of personality on your team, you talked about Jade, and I know you're probably close with her because she's your PG, but um, in terms of fun personalities, like wild characters that fans may not get to see while watching you guys play, <laughs> Who's the one to like crack a joke in the locker room or just, you know, do something funny that you guys all mess around with later on? Yeah, I'm sure on the court you've seen it. Mayel Giles, she is a character. That's, she's a clown. I mean, it, it doesn't turn off either. And so, you know, if it, she comes into the locker room and she's not yelling, you know, wild, saying something funny, it's like, hey, Ma, are you good? And it's, it's, oh yeah, I'm fine. It's like, okay, we're just waiting for you to crack a joke or something. <laughs> so yeah, my Mayel, she's, she's funny. She's, she's a clown, but. I think uh, we each have our moments where we say something and, you know, that's the vibe that we want. Uh, just a light locker room, a light practice. Um, it's fun. This is a fun group. You can tell, you can tell you guys have a close bond, like on, on the court, even on Instagram, social media, you guys just have great interaction. I think that's really cool. Last question from me, um, to beat Arizona, the Sun Devils have to do what? We have to be locked in offensively, defensively. Um, just really paying attention to our scout. Um, that's something that we've really picked up. Just, you know, knowing their sets, knowing uh, where we need to help, where we need to, um, you know, pick up our, our transition defense, transition offense. I mean, it's just every possession. We need to be locked in. We need to be aware and just go into it with um, one heartbeat, one cohesive uh, goal. And, you know, the goal is to come out with a win. And I think um, just all being on the same page with what we're doing on the court is definitely going to help us. Um, perform our best one heartbeat I love it I love to see that and hear it and good luck against the Wildcats Pac-12 conference is tough to get a win no matter where you go and it's going to be exciting to see you guys this weekend so good luck and thanks for taking the time thank you so much thank you for having me